Hey guys, Retro Donna here. Today I'm going to be doing a Star Wars themed Game Boy Advance shell. It's going to be all hand painted and it's going to look kind of like a destructed Stormtrooper's helmet. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, so here's the Game Boy shell. Uh, like I said, it was just a basic shell that you can get off pretty much anywhere. Uh, AliExpress, eBay, those type of places. Here's my rough sketch. So, we're gonna loosely follow this. I'm gonna try and do like some black bands. Um, blue on the speaker outlet. Blue buttons. Uh, black band on the top. The shoulder buttons, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a blue. Um, I'll show a kind of an inspiration picture right here. You'll see where I'm getting the blue from. I'm going to do black just on the outsides of the D-pad and then also for the buttons. So it's going to give it a little bit of more like depth to it. So it um, should be pretty fun. So let's go ahead and start painting. So first thing we're going to want to do is remove the shell from the bag. It's out of here for now. I'm gonna take off this little uh, cartridge guide thing. I'm going to do a overall white wash over the whole shell, even though it's already white. I want to give it a, a nicer um, texture to paint on top of versus this. So all I have is white acrylic paint. I'm gonna basically water it down and paint the whole shell. And then from there, I'll start taping things off and get things to where I want it to be. So this is the first step. You can see I'm trying to get like a runny texture so it doesn't build up too much. Um, at least for this first coat. All right, not too shabby. So next I'm gonna go ahead and tape off the pieces that I wanna color or I wanna paint. Just using regular scotch tape, but this is a wall safe, so it won't leave any residue or anything. So it's going on super light, but that's all right. I can just go ahead and do a second coat or whatever it takes. I'm going to go ahead and let these sit for a little bit and then come back to them and make another coat as necessary. While waiting for this to dry, I really want to paint the start and select over here, the depressions with like a bluish color. And try and mix a little bit. <clears throat> try that out.
gonna go back to the black here and uh, go over the spots that I started. Pretty good uh, amount of even coats on these, so I'm gonna let these dry, and then we'll move on to the uh, buttons and side panels. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint these black. Okay, so now we're gonna start some weathering. Here's some of the colors that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be mixing various amounts of these. So we got some black, yellow, Payne's gray, got some white, yellow ochre, and then some burnt sienna. So these are all gonna be mixed together in various degrees um, to get the washes and different colors that we need for the, uh, the shell. Trying to get like a rusty, dirty-ish brown, you know, something that I can get a, a worn desert, something that's been in the desert and been hit with some sandstorms and things like that. Take some of it, put it in one of my empty cells, make a little wash. In case you didn't know what a wash is, basically it's just like really, really, really thin down paint. Whoa. So it looks like my kind of dusty brownish color. Might want to lighten it up a little bit, a little bit more yellow. Try to avoid a little bit of white because it's opaque. So and when you're making a wash, you want it to be as transparent as possible. Because you're trying to build up some layers here. Let's go ahead and try that for our first round of a wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off. Pretty decent straight line. I'd say when we're done uh, weathering it and everything, it's not going to look as shabby. Also, since the frame of the screen will be going right there, you won't really notice the uh, paint that bled through a little bit. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and start this wash. So yeah, basically, all you do is just try and cover the whole thing. Even if you don't really see the spots, um, this just helps create a lot of depth. And again, uh, thinner is better just because we want it to dry fast and so we can make some more layers, um, build, build layers upon layers. It's 
darker pieces, I'm gonna go over them again in the, the black, just because they didn't really get that very dark that I wanted. If you do your washes correctly, you should be able to go back. It should be dry really quick, like I said. And you can go ahead and uh, apply some more layers. If not, just go ahead and let that sit a little bit longer. You can see there's some wet areas still. So this time I'll add a little bit more of the, uh, a little more of that Payne's gray. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this charcoal. Oh god, it's getting everywhere. And basically dry brush it on the uh, shell. So there it is. It's basically like a super fine powder. I'll take one of my softer brushes, a smaller one, to a little more control. I may switch to the other one, but let's go ahead and just try and I guess I'm just gonna dab it on there. Looks like it's a little bit too much up in this corner, but down here it looks really nice. I'm gonna try and keep it on the lighter side. All right. Obviously it looks like it's way overdone, so. Um, I'm gonna take this brush here, a little wet. This will help kind of erase it in a way. At least smudge it so it looks a little bit more natural. It looks way too overdone. Yeah, I don't really like the way that looks. It's hoping a little bit. Now it does look a little bit more natural. The rubbing. too shabby so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, there's a little problem here you can kind of see the tape mark um, I'm gonna see if I can get some white paint and make it look like streaks or, or like a blaster damage or something like that so I do like how it's turning out though. The weathering looks pretty cool.
actually pretty good. I think I want to still get a little bit more of those browns in it. Um, you can see in the back piece, the browns are really giving it a lot of life, I feel like. Um, there's not as much here, it's more like a, the, the darker uh, graphite color. So I want to get this dry and then put a few more washes on it. It's coming out pretty good though. I want to give some uh, chipping wear marks. Do too much, but basically, what I'm trying to do is those high points there, just chip that paint off to start and select. And I think I'm doing a pretty decent job. Um, I'm gonna try and also wear a little bit more of the uh, uneven areas that I painted too. So, scratch those off a bit, and then I may move on to other pieces. get some of these corners too because uh, those will probably be some places that would get would have gotten nicked though when it chips I do want it to look dirt in 